John Luther said, Good character is to be praised more than outstanding talent. Most talents, to some extent, are gifts. Good character, by contrast, is not given to us. We have to build it piece by piece by thought, choice, courage, and determination. Our character is built through hard work and sacrifice, while our talent is given to us. Our talent can attract a crowd, but our character determines if we will win their hearts forever. Who you are determines where you'll go. It determines what impact you'll make. What impact you'll make depends on your character. Hey guys, I'm Melky and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is connect with your character. Mother Teresa said, your character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through the experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Talent shouts, look at me. Character puts others first. Talent is worth developing, but character is worth celebrating. The characteristics of a good character are self-discipline, core values, and a sense of identity. Abraham Lincoln said, Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. What you want now is impulsiveness, while what you want most is long-term. What you want now is capricious while well, what you want most is a need and it anchors you and keeps you in place when no one else is there to remind you. Self-discipline is the ability to choose between desires and needs. Elvis Presley said, Values are like fingerprints. No one's is the same, but you leave them all over everything you do. I remember attending a MUN conference in 7th grade and discussing the topic of ethics and advancement. I had to ask myself the question, should I go with what is right or what is popular? Our values ensure that we do what we believe in, while our ethics ensure that we don't do what we don't believe in. Bill Gates said, if you're comparing yourself with someone else, you're insulting yourself. No one in this world can be replaced, compared to, and everyone is unique. Understanding this will allow us to embrace our strengths and weaknesses. Embracing our strengths and weaknesses will allow us to adjust our game plan for success. John C. Maxwell gives us three tips for protecting our character. Do not give up or give in to adversity. Do the right thing and take control of your life. Theodore Roosevelt affirmed, Believe you can and you're halfway there. During the time of adversity, we all go through the dilemma of giving in or giving up. Do not give up just because you're tired. Give up only when you're done. Giving in crushes our values, the very thing that defines us. In order to not give up or give in to adversity, we must believe in ourselves and stick to our values at all times. Honesty and integrity are important parts of our character. Being dishonest and having lack of integrity is extremely easy during the time of adversity. But having honesty and integrity during the time of adversity proves that we have a strong and good character. We cannot let our circumstances control our lives. We must control our lives. Our circumstances must not guide us. We must guide ourselves. Understanding this can allow us to have a positive attitude even during the times of adversity. Having a good character means having a positive attitude towards failure and towards adversity. To summarize, a good character is made up of self-discipline, core values, and a sense of identity. 
to develop our talent using our character, we must not give up or give in to adversity. Do the right thing and take control of our lives. If you find these tips to be helpful, I would appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next week in another new episode. Bye!